we are going to draw exercise number 10 create 3d model of the given solid and obtain 2d multi view drawings so after giving the settings units limits UCS icon and dim style you need to change the workspace from 2d to 3d to change the settings from 2d to 3d you go to the status bar below the command line at the right side you have status bar in the status bar you have a setting symbol gear symbol you select the arrow here given in the gear symbol then select the option 3d modeling after selecting the option in the ribbon you have view panel so in the view, view panel you have unsaved view so in the unsaved view you select se isometric then above the se isometric you have 2d wireframe so in the 2d wireframe you select shades of gray then before the view you have coordinates in the coordinates you have weld option in the weld option you select front then you switch on ortho by pressing f8 now we are going to draw this first we are going to draw this 100 mm line so select line command so give a click on the screen then move your mouse towards this direction then type 100 and give enter then again select line command so now I am going to draw this 8 mm line so move you give a click on the right end of the line then move your cursor vertically upwards then type 8 and give enter then select line command so give a click on the top of the 8 mm line then move your mouse towards this direction then type 27 and give enter then select line command give a click on the this end then move your mouse towards vertically upwards then type 25 and give enter then select line command and you give a line click here then move the mouse along this direction then type 8 and give enter the same thing you need to follow on the left side also so select line command give a click on the screen move your mouse vertically then type 8 and give enter then move your mouse towards this direction then type 27 and give enter then move your mouse vertically then type 25 and give enter then move your mouse in this direction then type 8 and give enter then go to circle option select two point circle so give a click here and give another click at this end point so after this you are going to trim the unwanted portion so if you use the trim command while using trim command suppose if it asks select object means you need to give enter then trim the unwanted portion after finish with this you need to join all the lines so type join command then select your diagrams like this rectangular selection so after that you just confirm above the command line you have selected object 10 found so after selected give enter then to add thickness go to extrude command select the extrude command then after selecting extrude command select the object and give enter so after that you give the thickness 50 mm so after that you go and change this shades of gray to 2d white frame then in the coordinates option already you give front in that place go and change the front to top then select line command go and place your cursor at the center of the line you get midpoint so give a click there then move your mouse towards this, this direction 
then give 15 then select line command select circle center diameter so select this point as center then give 12 mm as radius so after that delete this line then again go to 2d wireframe and select shades of gray then move your object like this then to remove to get the hole select this command press pull then place your cursor center of the circle give a click then move downwards and give another click you get the hole the similar hole we need to draw at the other side to get the other side in the SC isometric go and select SW isometric so your object will turn then again go and select 2d wireframe select line command so give a click here at the midpoint of the line then move in this direction then give 15 and give enter then again go and select circle center diameter option so click this point as center then give diameter as 12 mm then delete this line again go and give shades of gray move your object like this then choose press pull to get the hole select press pull command so keep your cursor center of the circle give a click then move your mouse downwards and give another click now you get the 3d object at the two end we have circle now we need to get 2d multi view to get the 2d multi view left to bottom of your screen you get model and next to the model you get layout so select this layout and select this rectangle and delete the diagram then at the right top of your screen you have view then you get base so select this base and select this from model space so after selecting this your diagram will get load you just wait after that you get a front view like this you place your front view at the right top give a click then at the top you have ok select the ok then move your mouse towards left and give another click then move your mouse towards bottom then give another click and move your mouse inclined and give another click after that you give enter so this is your multi view drawings so suppose if you don't want this dash line you select the click here on the front view then you have edit view here select this edit view then here you have hidden lines so in the hidden lines you give visible lines so after that give ok then at the top you have home tab solid surface in this you have annotate so select annotate and here you have linear option so select linear and dimension the object so after finishing dimension you need to give text so here you have text option go to single line text select single line text then it shows specify start point give a click on the screen then specify height as 3 then give enter then rotation angle you give 0 then give enter then it shows the cursor you can type here then after finishing your front view you go and click below the side view and give your name and go and click below the top view and give name as top view after that 
you click somewhere else on the screen then give escape so again you need to give all the dimensions are mm for that you use the same text option and type all dimensions are in mm mm you need to give in small letter then give another click somewhere else on the screen then give escape so this is your multi view drawing you are having the layout and uh, your model is in the model tab thank you